All right, what is up, dogs and dogettes? Welcome back to the wonderful world of Heartcraft. Holy cow, that tree just shot up in my in my backside right there. Wow. Yeah, I, uh... Holy cow, another one. Yeah, they're just popping up all over. Nice. I... Johnny Apple seeded the area here uh, with more trees that have been chopping them down for the pirate ship, which is what we're going to build. And I better put some torches here. Creeper just absolutely came and destroyed everything. That was in like a 10 block radius right there. Um, so, thanks thanks for that, Mr. Creeper. Oh, nice jump. Yeah, that was a good jump. All right. I wanted to show you what I did to uh, this little construction here. Um, I added some uh, stone around the outside at, a, at each different level. Um, with some nether brick stairs to kind of contrast it there. I uh, added a walkway. And I tried to make an HD for Heart Dog. And yeah, that D didn't turn out the best. But I need to make it like, I think another block taller. It'll turn out a little bit better. But just doing it pretty quick. Um, I hear... What is that? Oh, is that Enderman? I said some transport. Yeah, and this is I oh don't know, it just looks like wood in a room. I wanted to make like a long like dining hall dinner table like thing. But I mean what am I gonna put for chairs? I guess I can put uh, wood stairs here. They're pretty far away from the table. You have to like seriously reach to get some food. Hey, can you pass me an assault? I can't even reach the table. Yeah, throw it at me. <laughs> um I'll put in our torch there, torch there. And there's just mobs all over. I've been fighting mobs like mad. Mad mobs. But, um, we're definitely getting some tree growage. I got quite a bit of wood. I got 64 and 53. Pretty good. I think I harvested about 20 trees, so not bad. Um, but in other news, I finished, uh, the Haunted Chasm Tower. And it is pretty cool. I went down into it and just trying to set. I thought I heard a. I did. Where is he? I hear him. How's he hit me? Where is he? Oh, he's right there. Come here. Hey, come here. Give me your experience. I need you. I, I need some serious new armor pretty soon. Ah, I guess it's still pretty good. The boots of Mark. I hear them in the water. Oh. Hey. Come down here. He's got the high ground on me. How does he keep hitting me? Get some. You want some two zombie face? Sure. Get knocked back. Get knocked back. And get dead. Wow. He's not dead? Oh, no, he's dead. Yeah. I'm a soldier. You see my fort right there? You don't mess with the dog on his turf. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the haunted chasm is pretty cool. It's twelve, or not twelve. It's ten levels of mazes, and it goes by. Uh, I guess not. I guess not elements for everyone, um, but it goes by different blocks. Uh, it's, Two levels of iron blocks, two levels of gold, two levels of emerald, two levels of diamond, and then two levels at the bottom of obsidian. And the first eight levels, uh, I found out, do not uh, have any mobs spawn in it. Because I was stuck in there for a while. I was stuck in the emerald level forever. And I built a thing, but I didn't, I didn't build any like actual map of what I needed. Uh, to help get me through it so <laughs> I was just wandering around aimlessly trying to make it through this I left torches at uh, the place where you drop down to the next level and for the life of me I couldn't find it couldn't find it at all uh, but I finally made it through and then I got back to um, the obsidian level yeah and there were mobs all over there creepers uh, skeletons, zombies, just everything is in there. And you have to, like, seriously fight your way uh, through the bottom. So I think it's going to be pretty cool. I'll 
definitely do that soon. I gotta have a. Uh, 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 what am I doing? I only need one. So we're gonna start fanning this out. Oh, so in case nobody uh, realizes, I am starting work on the pirate ship. And that right there is the edge of the world. I can't go anything, can't even put a torch on the other side of that block. So I kind of have to squeeze it in here. My port's going to be rather small. Um, but my, my sample size of port will be pretty high. I'll be drinking that stuff left and right trying to build this. I mean, you're living the life of a pirate. You got to, man, really fudging up here. Wow, this guy's swimming all the way out to me. Come on, buddy. Yeah, you want to walk the plank, matey. Arr. Any day now, zombie. Come on. Yeah, well, I'll see you in about five minutes. You're slow. All right. So, oop. So I put three wide, this can be like our, well not engine room, but our store room. And I'm not, I don't honestly know what I'm doing for building this. I'm just gonna try and piece it together. You're dead. Okay. Um, try and piece it together. So what I think what I wanna do is square this off. And do I have any dirt? I have no dirt. I don't, I don't want to keep using wood as like my my placer block. I'll grab one chunk here. I'll grab a couple chunks. Probably need a few. I'll probably lose a field to the water. I'm not gonna go fetch him. Okay, so that's gonna be our bottom. Um, hmm. The chasm. The haunted chasm is gonna be uh, it's gonna be really cool. I uh, I put chests on each level, um, increasing the amount of chests for the last three levels. Uh, some have nothing in them. Some have helpful stuff, um, such as torches or pieces of armor. Or and on the last level, there's one with a diamond sword. Look at this fool! Ugh. All right. We're gonna do this. No, oh, my axe! I get it back? Nope. Yeah, bounce up. Jump right into it. You're dead. Oh, we got XP on the ground. We'll leave it there. XP on the ground. XP on the ground. So, I have to have someone uh, test run it, which uh, he will do here hopefully shortly. Um, it is Monday. So I'm hoping he will do it shortly. All right. Uh, should I start tapering this in? I'm gonna burn through so much wood making this. So I have to make a trip back to the old, uh, the old layer to get some serious wool for the sails. Uh, alright, I'm trying to, like, put a picture in my mind of what I want here. I know it's gotta be taller than this. Ah, crap. Well. The swimming we will go. I guess, uh, we can answer, uh, a question here. Um, while I swim and try and get reoriented. Uh, a question comes from Stormflash. 1311. What's up, Stormflash? Uh, and he asks, uh, if I'm a Star Wars fan, uh, yeah, heck yeah, I remember when I was, uh, well, I was like 13, 12 or 13, when the 25th anniversary, no, was it, oh, it was the 20th anniversary, maybe, yeah, it was the 20th anniversary of Star Wars coming out, and I really wanted it from my parents. I was like, come on, I want Star Wars, I want the trilogy. So they remastered the trilogy and all that stuff. This is before like, they added all that digital stuff. Um, they just remastered the original. Um, and I wanted it for Christmas so bad, I was like... And there was one present uh, that suspiciously looked 
Like it was uh, maybe movies, but it was it was too big. And I'm like, oh my god, no. I was like, all I want is Star Wars. All I want is Star Wars. And opened up on Christmas Day, and it was Star Wars. Had the trilogy. I used to come home from school when I was, yeah, like 14, 15. I watched all three Star Wars in a row. It was like an eight-hour movie marathon. <laughs> it's like... So, yeah, I'm a Star Wars fan of the original trilogy. The second trilogy, or the prequel trilogy, or whatever the hell it's called, uh, was uh, lacking. It lacked in a lot of areas. But I'm sure you guys can uh, agree with that. So... Um, but yeah, I am a Star Wars fan, but on to his question. That wasn't his question. His question uh, is, which, uh, what type of clone trooper do I like best? And I honestly didn't, I mean, I knew there were different types. I knew there were stormtroopers and blah, blah, but I didn't know that there'd be too much of a difference between them, honestly. So... I actually had to look it up. I had to look up what type of different stormtroopers there are. And there are some pretty cool ones. There's like a sea trooper, and then there's your stormtrooper, and then a sand trooper, uh, and Tatooine. Um, and, but there's a really cool one called like, uh, it was, oh, I can't even remember now. I just looked at it. Shock trooper. I don't know. It's a trooper that tries to steal uh, technology. It steals alien technology to better the Empire. Uh, I, I literally just looked at it and I literally just forgot. That's awesome. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> but that was it. I, I can look it up. Uh, I can put it in the comments maybe, but that would be the, the type of stormtrooper that I like. Um, and one that I'd never heard of before, so I thought that was pretty cool. Alright, so we're gonna go out one more on the back. Because it's gonna be the back side. It's gonna be the rump of our boat. Of our big old ship, our big galleon. Big old pirate galleon. So, and then we'll flatten it off. And we'll start raising up the sides. Uh, and then we'll put a, put a level in here. I have no, honestly, I'm probably going to have to change this. Because I really don't know what I'm doing for as far as this boat. <laughs> so I think what we'll do is, how tall? It's a pretty big galleon. We'll go up one more on the side here. Wow, I'm going to be out of wood already. Don't fall in the water. Don't fall in the water. Uh, do I want to go up one more? I think maybe I do. Especially out front here. So we'll do that. Mm, and that's dirt there. Um, yeah, we'll just do something like that. Any in our block of dirt. This could be a huge boat. I didn't realize. I'm losing all my dirt to the water. No, dirt. Dirt. I didn't miss a block over there. I knew it. I knew it. Unbelievable. So I'm going to have to put some portholes in here and get some glass panes. I think I'm going to get some... I'm going to put glass panes instead of just... Uh... Alright. So we're now inside the ship. Hmm. I should get some glass. Put some portholes here. I think this is where we... Uh, man. I have no idea what I'm doing. I should have, like, did some more research here. Research on galleons. I have gallons of galleons. 
Okay, so that's gonna be a three. I think I want this to jut out just a little bit. I might have to look at some stuff. I'm just going blind. Flying by the seat of my pants here. Uh, no, I go for more. I'm just gonna put this here. We're almost out of wood already. I chopped like 30 trees. Huh. Hey, it brightened up. Alright, let's just go get a side view. Or not. Should put my dock over to the front of the boat more. Did I put any wood in here? Yeah, I put nothing. Oh, I got plenty of wood left here. I got 53 logs. Heck yeah. Bank air in our favor. Uh, oh my gosh. Alright, so we got like 200 there. I'm going to take some of this sand. I'm going to bust a move over here and get some more sand because we're going to need some glass. Ooh, nice. There's a bunch of sand here. Is that a tree? That tree is buried. Oh, I thought that was a creeper. It's an ocelot. They don't look even close to each other. Well, now we got a nice sand flat. Oh, it's a jungle tree. There, now you're a jungle stump. You got a nice sand flat here. Hey, get grab the towel, grab a Corona, or whatever, whatever you like to drink. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're, I need a furnace. I'm just gonna dig in here. This will be like our uh, our weapons cache. I hear a I hear a zombie somewhere. Auto save. All right, I'll uh, jump past this. All right, what's up, dogs and dogs? I'm back. I wanted to see where that noise was coming from, and I have stumbled upon it. There's some serious, serious danger down here. Danger, danger, heart dog, danger. Oh boy. Look at this little fool, where is he? Hey, ow. We ain't afraid of no creeper. Hey buddy. Oh, you can't get me up here, can ya? Oh, ooh, that was a two for a price of one. Oh, you're dead. Hey dude. You're dead. You're dead. There's some serious mob action down here. This bowl is way better than my... Oh, there's a zombie stuck in the corner there. Wow, look at all these mobs. All right. Well, uh... We're gonna need some coal. Sorry about the detour. Ah! There's another creeper there. I know I want to get back to the pirate ship build, but curiosity got the best of me. Oh, if I use my pickaxe, it might work a little bit better. There we go. All right, nice. Okay, well, I'll grab some iron here. Got enough for a couple furnaces. Ooh, fern eye. Wow, there's another room here. Oh, crap. Ha, see a little sidestep around the corner? All right, never mind. It was a good sidestep. Oh, we got a good weapons cache here, that's for sure. I hear it all over the place down here. Why, it's growing on the wall, I tell you. Oh, wow, cool, dead end. <laughs> Alright. This is cool, like, just stumbling upon this stuff. You never know what you're going to find. Found plenty of iron. Take a quick jaunt down here. We'll head back out to the ship. 
Hello. What is this? Apparently I've been here before. Oh, uh, oh, okay. I think I know where I am. I think it's that other, uh... Let's go up. Come on up. Almost missed this guy. Ooh, two of them. Uh, there's another, uh, mine tunnel thing. Kind of by the, the, the pathway, the overpass that I have. And... So I think that's where this leads. Uh, how do I get out of here? Oh. Gotta build north, hawk dog. Alright. We'll go up, we'll go up to the boat, and I'll finish off the episode, and I'll uh, continue building on it and working on it. There we go. Yeah. Huh. It's right in the middle. Right in the middle of nowhere. Alright. I didn't even get a chance to take a look at it. Okay. I mean, it's a decent start. It might have to go. Looks like a duck. And then that looks. <laughs> uh, looks like a big old dinghy. Hey, quit playing with your dinghy. Okay. Um. Garbo, 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 Garbo. Greta Garbo, Greta Garbo. Make a couple furnaces. We got a decent amount of coal. We can always get more in there. There we go, we'll set it in. Alright, take half. Hello, there we go. And in here we'll just roast up some iron. Perfect. Okay, I think uh, we'll just we'll end it right here. And, ooh, wow, that's a big tree. Nice. That's all I see, more big trees. Yeah, I mean, that's a good start. I just wanted to start it because, I mean, it, I honestly didn't know what I'm doing. So I'll... I'll work on it a little bit more off screen, see what I want to do, kind of get the outside dimensions uh, working a little bit, and because this is going to be a big ship, it's going to be a big pirate galleon, it's going to house like 200 pirates, rapscallions that come to like take over Harkland and Harkcraft, literally they know, they got the big fort just waiting for them, peering out, watching, ever vigilant over the sea, you come you plunderers. And I'll force you back into the sea. Force you back in your boat and back to where you came from. That's right. Haha. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed uh, this episode of Heartcraft. Uh, remember to like. Uh, remember to comment. And leave your questions uh, for me to answer in the next episode. And uh, also subscribe if you have not done so already. And we will see you next time in the wonderful world of Heartcraft. Take care.